Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindra Pillai. In this session, I shall explain how to cryptographically secure randomness in .NET 8. So, let's start. I have created a .NET 8 console application and it is opened in my VS Code editor. If I click on this project here, you can see that the target framework is set to .NET 8. Now, it is possible to cryptographically secure randomness in .NET 8. For that, in .NET 8, it has added two new methods to the random number generator class. They are the get hex string method and the get string method. So let me explain about the get hex string method first. The get hex string method of the random number generator class creates a string filled with cryptographically random hexadecimal characters of specified length. For that, let me add the code here. I can say string hex string is equal to random number generator dot get hex string and let me pass a length of 12 here so this will generate a string filled with cryptographically random hexadecimal characters of length 12 so let me print this hex string in the terminal window for that let me add the code here and let me open the terminal run the command dot net and here you can see that it has generated a hex string of length 12. So let me run the command once again, .NET run. This time it has generated a new hex string of length 12. Now, if you closely look at the generated hex string, you can see that the characters are in uppercase. By default, the hex strings are generated in uppercase characters. Now, if we want to make it in lowercase character, what we can do is, in the get hex string method, we can pass lowercase and set the value to true. And now let me clear this terminal window and let me run the command .NET run. And this time it has generated a hex string of length 12 in lowercase characters. Okay, so now let me explain about the newly introduced get string method of the random number generator class. The getString method of the random number generator class creates a string populated with characters chosen at random from choices. Here you can see that I have created an input string with a value. Now, here I can say string random string is equal to, you can say random number generator dot get string. And here I'm going to pass the first parameter as the input string and here I'm going to specify a length of 15. So what does this mean? This means that go and generate a random string from this input string and that generated string should be of length 15. Now let me print the random string in the terminal window. For that, let me add the code here. Let me open the terminal window and run the command dot net run and here you can see that it has generated a random string of length 15 and this random string is generated from this input string now let me run this dot net run command once again this time it has generated a new random string of length 15 and that too from the input string so this is all about cryptographically securing randomness in dot net 8 if you find this video helpful then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.